Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. It's good to see you guys. Thank you so much for clicking on yet another Legend of Dragoon drag, drag, dra, 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 video. Uh, in the last video, we tackled the Kamui uh, storyline or side quest or whatever you want to call it uh, in Evergreen Forest. Rose and Miru ended up leaving our party forever uh, and we do not have them as as part of us uh it's not actually forever don't don't freak out in this episode uh we're gonna head to Deningrad and get some really really big story uh, uh reveals i guess is the is the best way to call it this my friends is the crystal palace in Deningrad. holy smokes man i love this place this looks like a Tiburoa in here. It looks cold. It's cold, cold. I'm from Tiburoa, and this cold weather is too harsh for me. Yeah, bro, you can, bro, you can really tell. So we can explore this area. Hello, it's a warm day today. Uh, <laughs> okay, but we're not warriors. It's too dangerous to go through the evergreen forest. Uh, nah, -uh, cause I just cleared it. The sea dragon, Elisa Bay, is gone, but we still cannot go through the evergreen forest. What do you mean? I just did it. It was fine. Recently, the evergreen forest has become a nest of monsters. The animals in the forest have turned into monsters. I wish I could go to Fueno and enjoy the hot springs. Oh, yeah, that place looked nice. So we can go into this building because, again, uh, you know, I'm me. And whenever we arrive in a brand new place, we need to explore it and see what, see what this world is, right? It looks like strong liquor. It must warm up the body from the inside. Hell, yeah. I was just married the other day. I'm as happy as a lark. We were married and blessed by Bishop Dill. I'm so happy now. Good good for you. Good for you, kid. Good for you. I hope this moment lasts forever. Look at look at all the people in Deningrad being happy. So I guess we can also make a, a pit stop right here to this this item shop. Right over here, we can talk to the owner of the item shop and see what we can buy. Obviously, being brand new, healing fogs and, and healing breezes, everything as, as as per usual. But we can also get spark nets and thunderbolts here. But like I said earlier, there's no real reason to get these. They're not going to be super useful in any upcoming fights. What about the weapon shop? What do you got for us, buddy? A tomahawk for our dear friend Kongle that will raise his attack. A spear of terror that we can get for our dear friend Albert, which will raise his attack and... Uh, frightens enemy with a given probability. Really nice. The Diamond Claw for Mr. Hatchel, which he already has because we got it way back when we fought Garrett and Mappy. So that was that was pretty easy. We could also grab a Breastplate for Kongle, a Master's Vest uh, when physically attacked SP is accumulated. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to get that and equip Hatchel with that. Uh, and I'm not really going to worry too much. We have a Soul Headband because we also got that from the fight with Garrett and Mappy. Jeweled Crown, we got two of those. Uh, and of course, right now, only Shauna can equip those. We have two at the moment. Uh, we're not going to need any of those real, real hard. Right here, though, is the uh, the item that I really wanted to show you guys. This is the Armor of Legend. It's the best armor in the entire game. Who would have thought that the Armor of Legend... Uh, it is not that good for magic defense, as you can clearly see. And for a lot of fights, it's actually better to use specific characters' armor that they'll get later on. Unfortunately, we just don't have access to that right now, but I thought I would point this out. The Armor of Legend is another thing that I just... We will have for all of our party members at some point throughout this playthrough. Uh, and I just I just wanted to point that out. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and buy all these new weapons for our friends. And now, as soon as we're done here, we can, of course, talk to more people and explore more cities. But we're not going to do that just yet. Our religious center, the Militsesu National Church, is at the top of these stairs. Now that, my friends, is where we need to go. I'm moved every time I listen to Bishop Dill's preaching. Won't you listen to it? Uh, yeah, you know what? I see, I see no reason not to. Let's go up into the National Church of Milisezu. It is said that the divine tree that lives in our heart and the last fruit have been protected from evil by the signets created by the ancient winglies. The legend goes, when the signet is broken, the end of the world approaches. Just like the last fruit, we humans are one of the fruits given life by the divine tree. For the end of the world to be a mere legend 
We must remove evil from our hearts and live in honesty. It is our mission as children of the Divine Tree. The Divine Tree, you say? We've heard of this legend before. A divine tree. I've never heard of it. Are you sure about that? We still don't know what the objectives are for Lloyd. Any information could be helpful. Oh. You must be travelers. Welcome to Deningrad. My name is Bishop Dill. I serve the divine tree. I'm Dart. This drawing is what you were talking about. Yes, it is. The divine tree. But this is what we imagine. Nobody has seen the real tree. Nonetheless, we believe in the Divine Tree. It is the source of life in harmony. Would you like to know more about the Divine Tree? Yes, please. Y'all, hold on to your butts! The Divine Tree is the Tree of Life. All life comes from this Divine Tree. In the beginning, nothingness filled the world. Then the Creator saw descended from the sky. His followers created the world. In the end, Soa sowed a seed on the earth. The seed soon grew to be a great tree. The great tree bore 108 fruits, and various life forms arose from the ripened fruits. Thus, 108 forms of life were created to fill the world. Divine tree completed its role, but the story says it is still protected by the signet of Soa. The signet of Soa. The divine tree. That last image of the divine tree actually being very, very important. It is like this the world was established with a fate determined by Soa. God's tree, sown by Soa, is the divine tree. If you would like to find out more about this, you can go to the National Library. Is that the Milisezu National Library? I can step into the treasury of knowledge. I wonder if I am capable of receiving all this incredible luck and still remain calm. No, I cannot. The treasure of knowledge is shining and calling me. Uh, uh, Al Albert, are, are you okay? Let's go. Uh, thank you for your time, sir. We, uh, have to go with our friend Albert. What is this guy doing? Uh, who are you people? Do you realize that you are talking to Librarian Ute? No, sorry. So what do you want? Have you interrupted my ceremony for no reason? I don't like stubborn old guys because I want to be an adorable old guy. Did you say something? Please wait. 
We were told by Bishop Dill that there is a wonderful library here. If you want, you can just go to the library. Oh, wait. I locked the door when I left. So, could you open the door? I would love the opportunity to touch such treasures of intelligence. All right, stop looking at me like that. I appreciate it. I'll let you in now. Uh, thanks, bud. Who would have thought that the guy we needed to talk to to go to the place is right there? He's such a haughty old guy. Don't say that. We have to do what we can do until Lloyd shows up. That's true. He used a dragon and a dragoon in Sergio and in Tiberoa. He obtained the co cooperation of a wingly. We don't know what we will do here. But he, but, but he will... I can read... The first step in the faith is to accept reality as it is and appreciate it. Huh. To the library, shall we go? Look at... My gosh, I just can't believe how beautiful this place is. We can head into this building too, just to see what's going on. Like I said, just, uh, just understanding a little bit more of this world, right? Do you look books too? Then go to this city's national library. You could find any book there. How exciting! We're going to a library! Oh, by golly, I'm excited. Hello. We have sun today, and it's almost hot. Uh, okay. All right, well, that means we only have one way we can go. Oh, look, at it. it's like a little street. I like it. Women are running this country. Queen, Queen Teresa and the four sacred sisters. All of them are women. Nice. Hello. Honey, it's a nice day today. Young people like you can't imagine how wonderful quiet life is with just me and my wife. Oh, that's cute. He likes his wife. Over here is the inn that we can go into. Uh, although we don't necessarily need it right now. Uh, I would just point out that it is there. Right here is the library that we need to go to. But we, there's some kids wandering around. That castle's pretty like a crystal, isn't it? They say the building was used by a now extinct species. I learned it in school. This is the Milisezu National Library. It's filled with all those difficult books. It's boring. Oh, what about this door? Because obviously, you know, we can't go into the library just yet. Yippee! Yippee! Gwa gwa! Okay, cool. They sound like Pokemon. I told you, play quietly in the house. Oh, they're just play. There's booze on the table. Yeah, booze on the table. It's an empty bottle of some beverage. Well, yeah, but we saw the same, and it was booze that warms up your inside. And the kids, that's why the kids are yip yipping around. Anyways, there's a save point there if you want to use it. And right here is a guard that leads to the Crystal Palace. There is a ceremony going on. Please come another time. Okay, looks like we can't go into the Crystal Palace now. So, let's go to the library. What? This view, though. This is incredible! This is the knowledge source of Endiness. Go look for anything you want. Hmm. The entire wall is filled with books. Maybe we can find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't looking at these things all the time have an effect on you? They made me wise. Congo feels dizzy. Gigantos lose to books. Here's something about dragons. It also talks about dragoons, too. We can say that the Serdian War was started from the drag dragoon spirit that was brought by Lloyd. Let's split up and look. Let's just do it. I guess I have to use my brain for the first time in a long time. Can Kongul read human words? If Rose were here, she would tell us a lot. They will be back when they finish with their errands. We have to do what we can do now. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to Kongol. How's he doing? It is about Wingleys, I guess. You guess? Kongol cannot read human characters. Kongol looks pictures. Let me read it. Wingleys are people with wings of light who employ magical power. They had their glory 11,000 years ago and had enormous magical power that could float colossal cities. City floats. Yes. It is unimaginable in the current world. They became extinct after the war with humans who were seeking their liberation. 
but Linus, who was a wingly, was alive. Besides, us dragoons are supposed to be only a legend. The legend does not necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragoons. No! Dragoons and dragons. And what is this? Virage manipulated by winglies. Huh. So we can go ahead and talk to every party member just to kind of fill in the gaps of our knowledge just a little bit here. Shauna, did you find something? This book is talking about divine moon objects, but they're just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. If we can find out the meaning of the divine moon objects, we think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay, let me read the part I found. After the dragon campaign, humans controlled the continents of Endeness and divided the continent into four and established three new countries. To the east, Sertio, to the south, Tiberoa, to the north, Milisezu, and to the west of the continent, the untouched land, the Death Frontier. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the Winglies as proof of their alliance. The divine moon objects are said to conceal magical power, however their usage is unknown. Usage is unknown? Huh. His mystery must be hidden in there. I'll look into it more. If you talk to them again, they'll just read the book for you again? So we don't quite want to do that. There's also nothing that Dart alone can read. He's not a powerful reader. We could go up here, though. And see that beginning and ending of the Dragon Campaign is a wall painting with the, with the theme of the Dragon Campaign. What's this one? Depiction of Dragoons. These are Dragoons during the Dragon Campaign. Wow, so Milosezu has all of this information and for some reason we just didn't know this? It seems like a painting of the Divine Tree. Stone plate of people with wings must be about the winglies. Relics from Neat, the tragic village. The Saint Luvia. I've seen this somewhere. This ship, my friends. This is the phantom ship that we were on mere episodes ago. Very interesting. Remember, Dart here is a survivor from the village of Neat. Alright, let's go ahead and talk to Hatchel first. This book talks about the Dragoons. The Dragoons from Legend. Yes, it is. The heroes of the Dragon Campaign. According to this, we are the first new Dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called when history requires them. When history requires them? Is that now? Lavitz was a dragoon. And Graham, Dool, Linus too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started out from the dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. If Lloyd is a part of the history that is necessary, then... Then our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the dragon campaign to victory 11,000 years ago crossed the sky and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the dragoon spirits as if it were some unavoidable fate. This legend seems to be telling us that after this journey, we will vanish. Hmm. This is a marvelous place. It seems all the wisdom that humans can possibly know is here. I'm reading a book on politics now. This is very... Can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? Uh, yes. Yes, indeed. Now, let me read the portion that talks about dragons. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species of all 107 creatures given life by the Divine Tree. Their attacks and life power overwhelm others. However, the creator Soa created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the Dragon Campaign 11,000 years ago, they had fierce battles against Viragis manipulated by Winglies and couldn't avoid being annihilated. But they weren't annihilated, like the book says. True. And again, they are ruled by the Dragoons. I'll look for more. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. It led to the Dragon Campaign! What? What did? Hmm. What do you need? Are you acting superior again? Of course, I am superior. I prefer being a hit with girls over feeling superior. I don't care about those things. 
It seems you are interested in the dragon campaign. Winglies, divine moon objects, dragons, dragoons. These all had something to do with the dragon campaign. Then Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign. The dragon campaign is my specialty. Maybe I could be of assistance. Tell me. We only know fragments. I see. This is the legend of the dragon campaign that I know. But holding again. There were seven dragoon warriors in the legend of the dragon campaign. Dragoons reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the dragoons fought boldly. However, in the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the gods' fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the Dragoon's cause. Then at last they freed the gods. Without the gods' power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the Human Age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. So this legend believes that the moon that never sets is actually gods? That is the story. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh well, that's unfortunate. You are already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No. It contains the historical material of Milosezu. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, they are all historic objects. This is something left by the black monster that brought an inferno down on this country. The Black Monster. Hmm. It has already been 18 years. It is surprising a young man like you knows about it. I was born in Neat. God, are you a survivor from the village? Yeah, his voice changed. Okay, I changed it because I heard it in the cinema and then I, now I gotta, you know what I mean? Now he sounds like Batman or something. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to him. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes. Faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster. These are the only things that survived the Black Flame. Do you know anything about what happened to Neat back then? Any survivors or... Hmm. I know only one. Who's that? The second sister, sacred sister of Milosezu, Sister Luana. It seems you don't know her. Hmm. However, I can tell you a little about the Black Monster. There is a legend about the Black Monster in the Moonchild. Would you like to hear it? Yes, please! It is ironic, but... The people who visit the church in Neats pray for their own happiness by looking at this stained glass, which shows the legend of the Black Monster and the Moonchild. what? Why did the gods create him? The black monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. The god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to Earth. The herald.
Herald is known to us as the Moonchild. The legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The black monster abhors, hates, and despises it and kills the Moonchild. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky, and the world is a never-ending chaos. So the, the black monster stops the gods from coming back. Meanwhile, in neat, oh, it's Rose. Nothing has changed. Am I hesitating? It's silly. We actually get to control Rose right now. What? How weird is that? What? What even? You you can't actually leave. What am I hesitating for? There's a reality that I have to face. So Rose knows about Neat as well. Mother. I'm back. Mother. It's been a while since the tragic day I lost my sight. I am able to see today thanks to the love of many people like Seti here. May the Divine Tree bless all the victims of the tragedy. Who is it? I didn't mean to surprise you. You are? Just a traveler. Please don't be alarmed. There are people of Neat and my mother sleeping here. Are you here to visit the grave too? Uh, I guess so. Then you know about Neat. So, has Rose known about Dart this whole time? Neat, 18 years ago. Princess Luvia. I will never tell you. I I can't see. Mom, I'm scared. Don't come. Where is Princess Luvia? Where did you hide the moon child? We don't know. What kind of spitefulness do you have toward our village? You want to die with your daughter. Mom, I'm scared. Princess Luvia left for the sea. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chance to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years. It's the time of birth, when the moon glows a blood color. The newly born moon child has a magic power. That magic power changes everyone around into an ev evangelist for the god. 
a servant to help prepare for the descending of the god. Ah. My objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person who was present as the moon child passed through. Mom, answer me. It's hot, it's burning, Mom. Mom. It was a miracle that I survived. I see. Then you were blinded back then. Yes. However, the god imparted me with something else. Sister Luana can see people's souls. But she can feel their pain, too. Because of this, Sister Luana has suffered. Now I can appreciate this power that I have. Because it allows me to heal the pain in people's hearts. If you need to heal the pain in your heart, please tell me. I can help you. That's not necessary. By the way, are you done? Yes, I will go back to Dinningrad soon. May I join you? Even if, our, if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from them. I see. Then I'll ask you to come with us. The knights are like, uh, okay, I guess, I guess that's fine. That's fine. It's totally fine. Home of Miru. This is a weird looking home. It's been a long time. I wonder if everyone's doing all right. I wonder if they feel lonely without me. Whoa! Hey, watch out! Who is this coming through the boundary? Who, who are you not knowing me? Huh? Miru! Miru, is that you, Miru? Guarhara? Guaraha? Gu Gu I'm sorry, what? Guaraha? I think is his name? Wait a minute. Long time no see, you look great. Do you think I'm really great? How could you leave without telling me? Where have you been? <laughs> uh, hey, I came all the way back here. You don't need to yell at me. Aren't you happy to see me? I am very happy to see you. But leaving the forest is our taboo. You left the forest, so I don't know if everybody else in the forest will forgive you, Miru. Who cares about taboos? Everybody in this forest and the humans outside, both of us are living in the same world. How come we have to draw a line and lock ourselves in like this? That's what I want to know. I have been living in this forest forever. I wish I knew. I'm going to ask the ancestor. I won't ask you anymore. Wait. So, Miru, officially, my friends. That's right, Miru here is a wingly. Yeah! I, mean, I think we could have guessed by the hair and some of the ways she was acting earlier. And any time that somebody saw when she saw Linus, and Linus was like, you know what I'm talking about. And she was like, what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, right? I love this place. This, my friends, is the forest of the winglies. There's so many of them. Thought they were extinct. I'm home. Oh no. Oops. It seems I'm not that welcome. It's Miru. Miru's back. This is my home. I can come home anytime. Such selfishness is not tolerated. There is no place to come home to, Miru. But that's true. You are the black sheep of the proud winglies. How dare you shamelessly come back? I thought you were satisfied with your decadent human life, weren't you? Ardell, what are you talking about? Go back to the humans. And wait there for the moment we destroy the humans. Stop it. Hmm. The ancestor. 
You left the forest on your own volition. How come you came back? I just wanted to see everybody. Leaving the forest is an unforgivable mortal sin. Didn't you know that when you left for the world of humans? As well as that, you could never come back here. Yes, I did, but it's strange. The world is 100 times bigger than this forest. There are, of course, bad humans, but there are many good humans too. You never met them and you shouldn't hate them. There are people who hate and detest humans just because they are humans, but their number is few. We just want to protect our life, that's all. Humans have always been afraid of the magic power of winglings. The fear eventually turns itself into a need to tyrannize us and take some action, either to subjugate or to kill winglings. That's why we need our own world, like this forest where humans cannot enter. Go back to the other world. Your existence angers the others. I understand. I'll leave. Miru! Mother! Oh. Leave the girl alone. Father, you must be kidding. That's the rule. We're going. Sorry. Mother. Father. It must be hard for you. But you must go back, Miru. Get out of our forest at once. Poor little Rue. Alright. Well, I guess as Miru, we just gotta go. Ow! Ow! Guaraha, what, what are you doing? Quiet. I want to talk between just the two of us. It seems you received a horrible welcome. It's nothing to me. Stop talking tough. Nimuru, it's just bad timing. Everybody is feeling tense lately. Is that my fault too? Mm -mm. No. Recently, the earth is surging. Don't you feel it, Miru? I've been feeling it a little. The animals in the forest are acting savage. This must be the cause, but what is this? And Sister Blano said that it is an omen of a dragon coming back to life. And it is not the usual one. Even our ancestors, who had much stronger magic power, couldn't defeat it. But what kind of dragon is that? It's the strongest dragon of all. The king of dragons with seven magical eyes. The divine dragon. Divine dragon? The ancestor says that the seal has half dissolved. That's why everybody's nervous. But, but, but we have a dragon buster and a dragon block staff. Don't we? The sword for killing dragons, the dragon buster, has been lost. It, it wasn't me, we know. Because it was hidden with the staff in a place that only the ancestor could open. And the talk you wanted between just the two of us is about the dragon? That too. But what I really wanted to tell you is something else. Miru, don't leave me. I want you to be at by my side. I can protect you if everybody opposes you. You're kind as always. But if you do, you'll be hated as well. I gotta go. Everybody's waiting for me. You have friends. <laughs> they are all cool. They show me and teach me many things. Ciao. Miru. The Dragon Buster. We know that Lloyd has that sword. That's how he was able to kill... Wait a minute.
good morning to the divine dragon. Which, by the way, for anybody that's ever played World of Warcraft Cataclysm, come on! As I was saying, that is how Lloyd was able to kill Lavitz, is because Lloyd has the Dragon Buster. Hmm. What are you going to do? Are you going to pursue that man, Lloyd? When you get time, go visit Neat. You cannot change the past, however you can face it. By facing it, maybe you can find out where you are from, where you want to go. Good luck. I guess he wasn't just a snob. <laughs> well, we'll have to wait for Rose and Miru. Ugh. Is anything wrong? No, I just felt a little shiver, that's all. I feel something is wrong. But... But what? Whoa! Okay, that was a lot in one episode. A lot of backstory, a lot of cinematics, actually, and, uh, wow. So we got a lot about the Dragon Campaign we learned a little bit about the Black Monster and how it's sent to destroy the Moon Childs uh, so that God can't come back to the Earth. And also the hearing about the Dragon Campaign, finally, uh, in, in a, well, a more thought out way, I suppose. And of course, everything with the Divine Tree. That is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, uh, I know I want to take a second uh, to just say with the theme of this video, the theme of what's happening in The Legend of Dragoon, the story of The Legend of Dragoon, and how I think uh, with, with everything happening right now in the United States, the world, I think we can relate this to our own world. Um, and I just want to take a moment to say that Black Lives Matter uh, and that what is happening around the world uh, is crazy and uh, people deserve to be heard. People deserve peace. People deserve... Uh, to protest a government that they don't agree with. And uh, I just wanted to take that that moment to say that. Uh, and I hope, I hope everyone here stays safe. And I hope that you guys uh, fight for what you believe in. Thank you for watching. Never give up. Never surrender.